Blah. Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. This episode we're going to be taking care of Ceaseless Discharge. I'm also going to show how to do co-op, being as, uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room here. I've got a lot of souls and a lot of humanity from somewhere. And that place is basically just been um, co-oping with other players, uh, with Kellogg. Um, basically, my son decided he wanted to, uh, to give it a go, so we've been practicing the game. And he, he, my little seven-year-old, he's now capable of killing Kellogg, which is pretty cool. Anyway... Um, we're going to go ahead and spend all these souls. I was talking about the idea of just kind of dying and wasting them all, but I'm only going to have to get them later. Uh, I am going to pour them all into intelligence, just because that will probably have the least effect right now. Like, it will increase the damage of the spells, uh, but after 40, it kind of slows down anyway. So that's not too bad. Uh, it's going to cap out at 50. Once it gets to 50, we don't actually have to bother with it again. And I'm probably not going to put a point in there for a while. Uh, this also gives me a slight disadvantage in that it's going to take me longer to level. So it's going to take me a lot longer to start putting points into um, endurance and health. Which I'm much more desperate for. So there is somewhat of a handicap as a result of that. I will show where I put my summon sign. And if I can actually get a co-op, uh, I may well be too high level for it now. But if we can actually get a co-op game... Um, started, I will try and demonstrate how we do co-op. Well, they're probably not, because that would have been waiting around and cutting the video. And we need to get back up to Farnak Shrine. So, uh, coming under here, so we are underneath uh, Kellogg's Bell. I don't know why I call it Kellogg. I always thought her name was Quelog. Quelog. Quelag. Quelag. We're going to go deal with all those... Um, all those technicals over there. Now, most of these are actually quite benign. They don't attack you. But uh, as you come down here, some of them will start aggroing and trying to chase you. And if they like kind of grab you, they'll um, try and pop all of their horrible things all over you. There's one there, look. Now, they are quite slow, so don't need to worry. There's nothing to collect down there. I'm really surprised that he has spawned. I honestly don't remember him spawning before. It's really not an issue. We can't actually do anything about it, but it's just interesting. There's a lot of stuff I'm noticing here that I don't remember seeing before. It could just be that everything's just sharper and we're having better view distance, particularly down this way. Um, we'll actually be able to access all of this directly after this boss fight, but um, we probably won't bother with that for a while, because this is quite a late game area. But I do like going and dealing with this guy, particularly for his armor set, for the armor set that you can get from here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have the required stuff to cheese this guy so really what you want to do if you can um, is shoot the guy with a bow and I really don't know if I'm gonna gonna be able to aggro him we should be able to we've got tons of arrows I just don't have the stats for it yet eventually I will um, stop points of points into dexterity and there is a temptation to put points into both strength and dexterity take them both to 20 but we'll see how the build comes together as we progress forward. Right, oh, there he is. I don't know if we can aggro him from here. No, he's not even feeling it. The funny part of that is if you have poisoned arrows, that does mean that you could poison him and just allow him to die. Um, now, he is pretty tough and he does hit like a truck. literally bouncing off. Uh, when he hits me, it's going to kill me instantly. It's what I'm trying to avoid here. Now he doesn't. I don't. I don't exactly know what the law thing is, but he's kind of looking around that corner there, and uh, he doesn't aggro on you until you try to collect it. There we go. Right, let's run. Wow, we do pretty good damage to him. Get out of here. You're gonna want to run all the way down here as far as you can. I don't actually know if you can reach this far. Now his attacks have a, a huge hitbox and uh, do an ungodly amount of damage. Now if you want to do him the normal way, and the way that I would recommend, you can go ahead and run up this passage and oh, I didn't realise it's fine, you can go through there. Um, and basically you can bait his like arm attack to come up around that corner and that will um, 
allow you to attack his arm. But the really, really cheap, cheap and easy way is to bring him all the way down here. As there's a ledge on the floor and he will try to jump from the ledge. We need to get all the way to the end before he starts trying to use his attacks. So when he does his jump, let's make sure we're blocking just in case he tries to do something. Like that. Let's heal. I don't think that's the move I was expecting, no. He should try a jump. Unless they've, cha unless they've changed his AI, which is entirely possible. Okay, at this point this is a bad idea. Let's try and get out of here. They have changed his AI. That's very interesting. Apparently Blocky wasn't doing anything, right? We need to get out of here. Heal. Surprisingly enough he's not one shot him, which is also really strange. Oh, he's gonna drag me off at this point. Let's go. Heal. Yep, shouldn't have known that was coming. Wow. Okay. That did not go anywhere near as expected. So we're going to have to do this a long way. Apparently he doesn't do the jump anymore. Very strange. Okay. So it used to be that uh, you could drag him to that edge, and he'd essentially like jump off, um, and you'd just have to hit his arm a couple of times, and you'd be able to knock him off the edge. But apparently, that is not the case anymore. Now, unfortunately, because we've aggroed him once, I'm pretty sure this guy will already be aggroed once we go in. So we'll have to run straight to uh, to the area that we need to be in to kill him. More shockingly, that he didn't one-shot me. That's quite surprising. <clears throat> He's not aggro. That's, that's even more interesting. I guess because I didn't pick up the arm set. Well, at least that makes things easier for me. Quite crazy, he takes a lot of damage from the solar arrow though. Particularly in comparison to uh Oh There we go. That is so much damage. Oh, there's the one shot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two deaths in one video. Luckily we've got plenty of time for this video. So many apologies for that one. God damn. Blah, 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 blah. Now there is reason to attack some of these guys later on, by the way, so we are, we may well experiment with that. Come on, we've got loads of NPCs and stuff to talk to in this episode. <laughs> It'd be pretty annoying if I lost all that, um, all that humanity already. But it's going to happen eventually, no need to get uh, frustrated about it. Resistance is probably a good idea in here. Heavy armor probably doesn't make much difference, to be honest. Really strange that he one hit me this time around, but didn't the last time around. The cool thing is, he's not going to be aggro, so I can pick my stuff back up again, actually, so I'm not going to lose it, am I? But it's not just yet. Mm. 
Now then, can I aggro you from here with the bow? That's another question, right? Right now, you have to actually cause damage. That's fair enough. I'm just trying to avoid that horrible one shotty and it like move. It really didn't actually hurt hit me, which is the more frustrating thing about it. Leave the range on that. Might no, come on, the dude. Annoyingly, this is probably going to be a long fight because he really he's, they seem to have increased this guy's um, physical resistances. I'm basically just going to stand here. This is where it gets boring. He's going to reel back for his move. Make sure you cover a decent way around this corner because his claw does sometimes clip through the wall. And we'll do that. No. Attack animation started. So not an incredibly difficult boss. I was trying to do it the, ch the cheap and quick way, but um, it wasn't wanting to play ball. Real back. There we go. Round corner a bit. Do 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 do. Come back. The funny thing being this guy would actually probably be pretty hard without some of these tricks that we can do to him. Let's go again. Good old Claymore. Doing his thing. Do 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 do. Getting close. One wonders if you'd be able to like poison this arm of his. And as you can see, the levels have made no difference to this game. <laughs> I thought my phone was going off for a second there. I was getting a bit worried. I don't want to actually lose concentration. Starts attack animation on the corner. Attack animation around the corner. And then blap. Ooh, then all the lava disappears. Bye-bye! Now make our, way into, make our way over here to where the guy was looking. And we'll have ourselves a little treat.
There we are. Got time set. Pretty good. Some pretty decent uh, resistances in there as well. Uh, for those of you wanting to wear lighter arm sets. I'm going to go ahead and homeward bone over here. Um, of course, there's stuff to explore below, and we should be able to see down there from the uh, from the bonfire. Yes. However, it's guarded by what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Taurus demons. Uh, and that's not really even the way you have to go. There's just optional items down there. So when I've got more stamina and some some different items, we're probably not running across there. Um, and I think that actually means the lava, which is the more annoying thing about those fights. Capitim, though, he's kind of guarding the entrance to the uh, the path of progression. So that's where you actually want to go. Uh, I think it's the Chaos Ember that's around that corner. Anyways, that's just done. Around, that's just done around here. Let's level, let's use these souls up. Um, I think I'm most interested in health right now. Uh, the place we're about to go is going to be quite tough. Um, <laughs> both endurance and health are going to be put to the test in there. But uh, it's time for it to leave. And I'm probably going to end up losing my humanity in there. In fact, if I die several times, I would not be surprised. Because it is time for Sen's Fortress. Well, in the next episode it will be anyway. I'm trying to think anything else that we need to do before we go. I've got all the spells I kind of need from... Griggs. I think it's Griggs. I'm going to show you where I put my... Uh, my summon sign. I don't think I can use it at the moment. I can't, no. Because I'm in offline mode. <laughs> I should check it over here, there. So, uh, if you're looking for co-op, you'll often find that uh, a lot of people put their signs down here. Now, of course, the thing is, if somebody's in human mode and they're looking for co-op, they're going to come across all this area. So, basically, I think around here is the best place to put your summon sign. Uh, or even further up, if you really, really, really wish to. Uh, if you basically want to guarantee yourself getting summoned more and more often, um, and I've got the the moss to deal with the poison, you could also do it over at the actual bonfire, and then you'll get far more summons over in that direction. But um, it's just a bit longer that way. Right. This ring probably makes invading around here horrific for your opponent. I can hear mosquitoes already. Don't think there's anything in this corner. I'm just going to double check. Just because this guy's down here. I think it's more of a... If you dr if you dr happen to drop off, he's there to uh, make sure you're further punished for that mistake. Head none up the ladder. Uh, pretty soon we're going to need to equip the spider shield. Uh, this is another rather dangerous and precarious area. Uh, and we're going to have more dudes trying to fire venomous um, darts at us. I always had to roll off of that. For some reason, uh, whenever I try to just walk off of it, I always have like hideously bad luck and end up falling off. Where is the direction we need to go? Let's just check all the directions around here because there's loads of different things we can be looking for. It's not this way. So it's just this ladder. I hate how long the poison lasts for. Get out. I'm trying to see where they all are. So all the dudes with the poison are in there. So we need to go further up. 
should be another ladder. There we go. Now the good news is over this way we are going to be collecting Firekeeper Soul. Uh, another pretty cool looking armor set. And uh, what else? There's something else. God damn it! Got me straight away. That's not good. I should have got Bloom Puppet Mask. Get out of my way. I need to try and not let that happen too often. And that needs to go in there. Like that. Now the biggest thing you're going to struggle with in here is that they're on two sides of the room. So you kind of just want to run straight across this bit. There's some more in this left little nook here that you just saw me run past. Absolutely hellish area, I hate it. No. Got me. And he didn't even die? What? You git. Right, so I'm basically stuffed now if the uh, the next one toxics me. I should probably put up with that one and kept the kept the moss, but never mind. At least these guys don't respawn, so we can reset the situation. Where are you? Haha. <laughs> Fate was smiling upon me there. Now then, below us we have lots of fire dogs. So do be careful before heading on down. If you happen to have to lock onto one, like that. Feel free to take advantage of it. There are a lot of them. There we go, that's that one. Oh, yeah, one of them has fallen down. That's interesting. That's why the one that I thought was down there isn't there. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to kill you. Before you become a problem. Oh, you gave me a blooming one! Okay. We're still older than that. I mean, things are likely to drop a lot more items now I've got all this humanity on, so... I'm probably going to get quite spawny. Next up is those. Perfect level platform here. I think that basically just leaves us with one, which is definitely handleable. A ladder rather than jumping down. Where is it? They're usually all mobbier, so I'm surprised it's not aggroed on me yet. Here is the fire keepers all. Behind all the fire dogs. I wonder who that was. It actually looks like, like this one looks very similar to the one that we have in Fire Link Shrine when you think about it. I wonder if this was a hub for something at some point. <gasps> Interesting. That there never opens as far as I'm aware. It looks like it could, which is uh, intriguing. Okay, so continuing on with this little trip back up. Come back out in there. I mean, quite handily, the uh, the mosquitoes didn't seem to follow you into there. That's quite good. I think they'd make that pretty uh, unreasonable in there, to be honest. What is that about? <laughs> There's a dog in the wheel. <laughs> I don't think that was meant to be there. That's quite funny. <laughs> I 
Now then, as you can imagine, had we not killed those and had the more fire us go across here, this would be uh, very, very dangerous indeed. One shot, baby. Yeah, I want this. And I want this. And this is a repair weapon. No, remedy. Lovely spell. Quite a frustrating place to get it, being as you know you can't equip it up here. But uh, as the name suggests, that is a spell version of. Uh... <gasps> no. <laughs> no, we died. I don't know what I fell off of there. That was really weird. Okay, that is a lot of deaths in this episode, guys. I apologise profusely. Uh, at least all the poison guys are dead. Ah. And right now I'm regretting not resting at the other bonfire. But um, quite po quite certain we'll be able to get it this time. All, all of us you've got to do is go and collect my um, my plus and then get up a ladder, and we should uh, we should be fine. Quite crazy how that was kind of a death roll as well. It did look like it was almost survivable with me hitting that um, platform. Oh, well, at least this episode will be uh, entertaining at least. And now we can see whether or not that dog is still there, or whether that was just a uh, an entertaining glitch. If I die again, I'll be quite upset with myself. Is there an item over here? I don't even know if I looked. I don't think there is, no. Probably also worth checking if uh, Carla has appeared, who I think is over here. <gasps> Too far. I don't know how far that'll uh, aggro on me for. No, she still hasn't appeared. I think we have to talk to Laurentius. So we're going to go ahead and get that sword in a minute. Now, this is where I'm going to wish I had a quick remedy. Big guy has not followed me. Okay, so yeah, they're not. Not eternally aggroed, that's good. I really hate this bit. <laughs> the dog is still there, so it's not a glitch. That is quite funny. Chuck. Heal. Quip. No, you don't. This is where the game trolls me and all those guys have respawned. Came here, came the wrong way. I'm just too used to my uh, usual pattern of dealing with this area. It's Walk over here. Oh, I need to go away. Probably don't need you while I'm bouncing across it's branches. God damn it! I really don't know what pushed me off there. Go away. 
Gott, da muss die erst. Stay stuck in there, it's fine by me. I don't remember you being poised there like that. Don't think there's anything over here. I would, this has always like been a bit of a misnomer for a little platform. But never mind. Where is the ladder? God damn it. Where's the ladder? What am I missing? I come up the wrong side. I feel like I have. That's the way out there. So I've come all the way across here for nothing. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I'm getting a bit turned around, guys. I apologise for that. Well, it's not doing that stupid here. That shadow is really spooky, isn't it? So where would the other ladder be? One there, let's go up again, here. Which one have I missed? This one. There we go. You know guys, I thought I knew this place like the back of my hand. Clearly, uh quite as well as I'd have thought. Get out. Nothing here. I think this is a key. Yeah, New London Ruins key, which is the key, it's basically the key to the gate that we uh, unlocked right at the beginning of the game. To create a shortcut, which is where we're going to be very shortly. Okay, here because we've got enemies. Make sure we're you there. More poo, of course it is. Eat it. That was a bad swing. Get down. As you can see, drops are going lovely for me with this 19 humanity on. And out here should be looking vaguely familiar. Ta da! It's the Valley of Drakes. So we're not going to do anything dangerous, we're just going to cross over here and head on up to Firelink Shrine. <laughs> we could go ahead and speak to Rico, but I'm okay for now, I think, actually. Obviously, always make sure you double check before running in there. 
because there's no like edge to the room for you to uh, notice whether or not you've left the lift down. Now then, we've returned to There's a few things to talk about. Um, there's something that I'm not actually going to do. And that is talk to one of the new NPCs. Now let me explain this in a second. Um, it is a little bit annoying. It means you don't get some of the things straight away, if I remember rightly. Um, but uh, through there... There's a new NPC. He's pretty cool and you can tell him stuff. Um... But because it's harder to do the other way around, I'm going to do that first. So basically, if you speak to him, then the there are two of those NPCs that look exactly the same. Um, and they are both kind of... Well, it's kind of unknown as to whether or not they're actually the same guy acting as different people, or if they're separate primordial serpents or whatever. But uh, it's harder to make the other one appear, and I'd rather do that in a new game rather than New Game Plus. So basically, I'm not going to speak to him. Instead, I'm just going to talk to this guy. Did you win the second yes. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. <laughs> oh, maybe it... oh, maybe... So, mate, so yeah, we're going to exhaust his dialogue. That's going to cause him to continue his story. Now we're going to go ahead and speak to Laurentius. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy in a great swamp, so I can use my hands with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magic unsafe. No, answer yeah, no. Wonderful, but you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here. Yep, definitely. Take this. Pyromancy flame. flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, well, let's get started right now. And here you can just continue to upgrade it. And uh, pyromancies only scale with the level of the flame. It could just be literally upgraded with souls all the way up to plus 15. So uh, something to bear in mind if you are planning on going in that direction. Uh, we already actually have a pretty strong pyromancy in the Chaos Firestorm. Which is the main reason that I wanted it. And the main reason that this is good, probably going to get upgraded before the end of the game. Uh, mainly because it helps with um, grinding out some souls later on. I don't think there is. I mean, flashback could be handy for later, but. Pyromancy is to produce flame, then channel. Pyromancy might, you will understand. Pyromancy has demand, and which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning out there didn't change a thing. <laughs> Cool. The pyromancer's flame is it flame develops right along with when I gave you that flame. I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. Be safe, don't you? Thoughts was working to him. Uh I think these guys are gonna have moved on now. Uh, no, they haven't yet, so let's talk to these guys. Oh, my guess I will be so I it was a hmm? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. You are on we've no Cool, so it's everybody there. And then we can go ahead and speak to our dude again. I don't know if there's anything else that I want, to be honest. Spells. I mean, another, another instance of Sana is all well and good. Magic weapon would be pretty good. Magic shield would be pretty good, actually, as well. I've never actually used that. Part of me wants to try it. Maybe have some spells. Fall control is probably good, actually. All right. That may we meet again. 
Cool. So I think that is everything for this episode. Switch all the NPCs, there's no one else for us to collect. He's probably going to disappear soon. Um, now that we've spoken to him, things may have changed down, uh, down below, but we're going to wait for that. Which means... We're going to head back over to Andre. We we're going to be beginning a very, very nasty, uh, nasty area. Where I'm probably going to die many times. I mean, hopefully I won't. Um, I really don't want to have to restart it loads and loads of times, but uh, we'll have to see how my knowledge of it is nowadays. I just wanted to have a bit of fun with those guys. Oh, I should probably say as well, I personally haven't spoken to Frampt, but um, it really doesn't hurt anything if you do. In fact, it just essentially makes a lot of things quicker and easier for later on. But um, I'm not doing it because I want to get access to a Covenant. Which is the reason I'm not doing it. So if you want access to an extra covenant, which is the Dark Faith Covenant, which is a pretty good one and allows you to invade other players, then uh, then follow suit. If not, if you're not bothered about that at all, then uh, go ahead, go ahead and feel free to uh, talk to him. He generally pays more souls for stuff. Um, f so for example, uh, I think the who is it? I'm pretty sure the Moonlight Butterfly Soul, for example, you can give it to him for like 8,000 rather than eating it for for one. Ooh, I didn't use the Fire Keeper Swan, it's going to do that. In fact, I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'm going to go and reinforce the the, uh, the fight, my Estus Fast, so when we get back there'll be plus three uh, over in Fighting Shrine, and then we'll be back here. Sense Vulture's over that way. As you can see, the gate has opened. So I'll see you next time.